Emperor Emeritus Akihito of Japan celebrates his 89th birthday. The Crown Prince family of Denmark releases a Christmas photo. Prince Albert II of Monaco attends the Golden Foot Awards. And Hereditary Prince Alos and Hereditary Princess Sophie of Liechtenstein receive the Light of Peace. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandra, and this is your Royal Daily News for December 23rd, 2022. In Tokyo, the Imperial Household Agency released new photos as well as a video of Emperor Emeritus Akihito of Japan on the occasion of his 89th birthday. The lovely images of the Emperor Emeritus and Empress Emerita Mashiko of Japan were taken in the garden at Akasaka Palace. The IHA also notes that Emperor Emeritus Akihito will celebrate his birthday with a small gathering of family, including their Imperial Majesties Emperor Norihito and Empress Masako of Japan at Sento Imperial Palace. In July 2022, Emperor Emeritus Akihito was diagnosed with heart failure. Thankfully, the IHA confirmed that his condition appears to be improving with treatment. He also underwent cataract and glaucoma surgery in September, and today the prognosis is, quote, reportedly good, end quote. The IHA also noted that Emperor Emeritus Akihito takes walks around his garden every morning and evening, and quote, waves back when he sees people in nearby buildings waving to him. He has also resumed playing the cello, and takes lessons twice a month. His wife also attends from time to time to listen to his music. The Emperor Emeritus also visits the biological laboratory at the Imperial Palace grounds twice a week to continue his research on the gobioid fishes. He has studied the species for many years." End quote. In Stockholm, Her Majesty Queen Sylvia of Sweden is celebrating her 79th birthday. On the occasion of her special day, the Swedish armed forces fired 21 shots from the Hwepsholmen's salute station in Stockholm, as well as from the salute stations in Boden and Gothenburg, to name a few. Last evening, their royal highnesses Prince Carl Philip and Princess Sophia of Sweden attended a Christmas concert held at the Gustav Vasa Church in Stockholm. The Christmas concert featured performances by Frederick Benedict, Molly Sandin, Linda Lampendus, Jane Schaefer, Anna Salain, and the Lodz Choir. In Oslo, the Norwegian Royal Court announced that their Majesties King Harald V and Queen Sonia of Norway, along with their Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Håkon and Crown Princess Mette Marit of Norway, Her Royal Highness Princess Ingrid Alexandra of Norway, and His Highness Prince Sverre Magnus of Norway will spend Christmas together at the Royal Lodge in Oslo. The Royal Family will also attend Christmas Day service at Holmen Kollen Chapel. Unfortunately, the Norwegian Royal Court did not release an official 2022 Christmas card with the entire Royal Family. The reason is unknown at this time. Perhaps this was due to His Majesty the King's recent hospital stay, since many of the Christmas photos of the royal family are taken days before Christmas Eve. However, in the late afternoon, the Crown Prince family released a last-minute photo on social media, stating, quote, The Crown Prince family would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. It was a slightly different pre-Christmas time this year, and the Crown Prince family thanks everyone for all the concern that has been received while the king has been in hospital and is very happy that he is home now, end quote. Also, it is unknown if His Majesty the King will deliver his traditional New Year speech. The Norwegian Royal Court noted that the decision on, quote, who will deliver the speech will be made closer to New Year's Eve, end quote. As you may know by now, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Håkon steps in for the King if he is ill. As for Her Highness Princess Martha Louise of Norway and her fiancé Shaman Durek, it is unknown where they will be spending the holidays. Meanwhile, in Copenhagen, the Danish Royal Court released a Christmas photo of their Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, along with their children, His Royal Highness Prince Christian of Denmark, Her Royal Highness Princess Isabella of Denmark, His Royal Highness Prince Vincent of Denmark, and Her Royal Highness Princess Josephine of Denmark. 
The image was taken yesterday in the hills overlooking Sandy Bay in Hobart, Tasmania. In their social media post, the Crown Prince family wrote, quote, Merry Christmas from Down Under, where we celebrate Christmas in Tasmania. Here, there are neither freezing temperatures nor just trees, but summer and warm weather, end quote. The Crown Princely family will be in Crown Princess Mary's hometown of Hobart for the next several days to spend Christmas with her father, Professor John Donaldson, her stepmother, Susan Donaldson, her sisters, Jane Stevens and Patricia Bailey, and her brother, John Stuart Donaldson. In Monacoville, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco received the Monaco Rugby Sevens in the Court of Honor at the Palais Princière on the occasion of the official presentation of the French Rugby Sevens Championship Trophy. The Monaco Rugby Sevens won their first title last month after winning the In Extenso Super Sevens Final. On Wednesday, the Sovereign Prince, as President of the Yacht Club de Monaco, accompanied by Mr. Pierre Casaraghi, attended the annual Yacht Club de Monaco Winter Cocktail Gala to celebrate the arrival of new members as well as preside over the YCM awards ceremony. Every year, to the close of the season, the Sovereign Prince pays tribute to the Yacht Club de Monaco Club Sailors during the YCM awards for the Credit Suisse Trophy, which, quote, recognizes young competitors in the sports section as well as members and owner helmsmen who are competing at the highest level. Prizes are awarded in two categories, the YCM Youth Awards, Optimus ILCA, and Kite Categories, and the YCM Awards for Society Members who have best defended the club's flag during the regatta season. End quote. In the evening, the Sovereign Prince, accompanied by his nephew, Mr. Louis Ducroy, attended the 20th anniversary celebrations of the Golden Foot Award Ceremony held at the Grimaldi Forum. According to a press release, the Golden Foot Awards is an international career award only for, quote, at least 29-year-old football players who stand out for their sports results, both as single players and with their team, for their personality and for their esteem of the public and football experts. The peculiarity of this award is that the winner leaves a permanent mold of his footprints on the champion's promenade, or walk of fame, on the seafront of the Principality of Monaco. End quote. The winner of the 2022 Golden Foot went to Mr. Robert Lewandowski. In Brussels, Her Majesty Queen Mathilde of the Belgians met with Dr. Hélène Barsour from Charleroi at the Palais Royal. Fifty years ago, Dr. Barsoul moved to Seoul, South Korea, to provide medical care to those living in poverty. Today, Dr. Barsoul runs a small hospital and palliative care center in the South Korean capital. On Wednesday morning, Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth of Belgium, Duchess of Brabant, and His Royal Highness Prince Emmanuel of Belgium participated in the 2022 Warmathon Brussels, held at the King Boudouin Stadium. The Warmathon Brussels is held in connection with the Warmest Week, an initiative of the Belgian network VRT, which raises money for charity. The theme of this year's Warmathon is poverty. This year, all proceeds will be donated to various charities that help underprivileged individuals and families. On the occasion of the closing ceremony of ESH 2022, the European Capital of Culture, Her Royal Highness Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg, in her capacity as High Patron, sent a video message to say thank you to the organizers, artists, and visitors who helped make ESH 2022 a huge success. Yesterday morning in Luxembourg City, the Corps Grand Ducal released four new Christmas images of their Royal Highnesses Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume and Hereditary Grand Duchess Stephanie of Luxembourg, along with their son, His Royal Highness Prince Charles of Luxembourg, at their home. In their social media post, the Hereditary Grand Ducal family wished everyone, quote, a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, end quote.
Meanwhile, Grand Duchess Maria Theresa took to social media to publish her own Christmas card. In a brief statement, it said, quote, The Grand Duke and the Grand Duchess wish you a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year 2023. End quote. In Vaduz, His Serene Highness Hereditary Prince Alos of Liechtenstein and Her Royal Highness Hereditary Princess Sophie of Liechtenstein received the light of peace from the Liechtenstein scouts inside the private chapel at Schloss Vaduz. The flame of the light of peace began in Bethlehem and arrived at the scout home Letzi, which is the headquarters of the Liechtenstein scouts, on Tuesday. After presenting the flame to the government, police, prisoners, and a refugee home, the scouts finally presented the light of peace to the hereditary prince couple. And finally, on Wednesday in London, Buckingham Palace announced that the 2023 Trooping the Color, the King's official birthday parade, will take place on Saturday, June 17th. Moreover, the, quote, impressive display of pageantry by the regiments of the Household Division on Horse Guards Parade with His Majesty the King attending and taking the salute. His Majesty King Charles III will hold the appointment of Colonel-in-Chief of the Regiments of the Household Division. Each regiment has a colonel, who is normally either a member of the royal family or a senior officer. There are three newly appointed colonels within the foot guards announced today. Colonel, Grenadier Guards, Her Majesty the Queen Consort of the United Kingdom. Colonel, Welsh Guards, his Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. Colonel, Irish Guards, Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales. There will be no change to the existing colonelcies of the other regiments within the Household Division, which will remain as below. Colonel, Blue and Royals, Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal. Colonel, Scots Guards, His Royal Highness, the Duke of Kent. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Saturday, December 24th with all the latest royal news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful Friday evening and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.